what's up it's Brianna and today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my heavy and hard topic book recommendations this was the top five Wednesdays topic for this week and although I'm not doing the top five Wednesday I did really like this topic and I do have some recommendations that I think you might like too. The first one I have is The Serpent King by Jeff Zintner. This book focuses on the negatives of religion and being in a very religious community. How that can actually be negative on people and the community around them. I think it's very controversial. And I think that the way it's portrayed is perfect because it is something that can be negative. I'm not bashing religion, but I do think in some cases it can be not the best thing for people. And I think that this book really showed that in a very well and beautiful way. Also, if you're interested in this book, I do have a full review for it and I will link that down in the description so you can go check it out. The next book that I have is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak, and this is about a girl who lives in Nazi-occupied Germany during World War II, and she starts stealing books from Nazi book burnings. Obviously, that is something that is very dangerous, and her family is also against Hitler, which is something you don't want to be when you're German and in a highly Nazi-occupied place. There's also a very heavy element of death in this book. The next book I have is The Lifeboat Click by Kathy Parks and this is a life or death story about survival on a lifeboat. Our main character, Denver, is stuck on this lifeboat with people who hate her and she's trying to survive and show that she deserves to survive so that they don't just throw her off the lifeboat and make her die. She's also trying to find water and food and it's very, very heavy and a lot of death is in this book. I also have a full review for this book and I will link that down in the description if you want to go and check that out and see more about it and my thoughts. Then I have I Am Not a Serial Killer by Dan Wells and this book focuses on a sociopath who can't connect with human emotions and he feels like he's going to become a serial killer. He's trying to fight his inner demons in not killing anyone and he's faking his relationships and I think the way that this psychological problem is portrayed in this book is really done nicely and even though I'm not a sociopath I felt like I could really connect with John Cleaver. Then a serial killer shows up in his town and he is being more drawn to the life of a serial killer. I do have a full review for this book as well and if you would like to watch that I will link that in the description so you can go and check that out. The next book I have is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. This has a very serious abusive stepfather relationship and also a little bit of neglect. Her family is pretty poor and her stepfather is an alcoholic and abuses her and her mother. They also don't have a lot of money so they can't buy like clothes and food for their family and it is very very heavy. But this is also a wonderful book and one of my favorites. I absolutely love this book and I seriously recommend it to everybody. Next I have My Beautiful Failure by Janet Ruth Young and this book deals with a boy who is a volunteer at a suicide hotline and he's falling in love with a girl who is a regular caller to that hotline because she is very suicidal. She was left by her family and she has no friends and she is very very depressed and the only one who cheers her up is the boy that she calls at the suicide hotline. I think the way that suicide is shown in this book is really well even though I didn't love this book, I didn't hate it, I enjoyed it quite a bit so I think this book definitely deserves to be on this list. Next we have If I Stay by Gail Foreman. 
Um, this book is about a girl who gets into a car accident with her family and she basically watches them all die. And she is in a coma, but we get her conscience, which is between life and death, and she can choose whether she wants to live and wake up as an orphan and deal with the pain of losing her family and everything that's going to change in her life or she can die and be with her family again. This is a very, very sad book and I loved it so, so much. It definitely is great and if you've seen the movie, the movie is amazing too, so. Next we have my second favorite book in the whole wide world. Like this, literally, I love this book so much and it is Stolen, A Letter to My Captor by Lucy Christopher. This deals with a girl who is kidnapped and taken to Australia. She can't get out, she can't get away from the man who kidnapped her. There's also a heavy theme of Stockholm Syndrome in this book, which is crazy. That's something that I had never really read about and it made me question my feelings too, so yeah but I really love this book. I recommend it to everybody. Then we have Sold by Patricia McCormick, and this is about a 13-year-old girl who lives in a small village in Nepal when her father sells her to a brothel. So she doesn't really know what's going on. She just thinks that she's gonna go work for a maid company, and she shows up and finds out that she has to have sex with these men and try to please them more to get more money and it's very sad and I can't even imagine this and this is something that still goes on around the world today so this really opened my eyes and it's definitely one of those topics not a lot of people tackle and I think this book did it just amazingly. Next I have Mouse by Art Spiegelman and this is a non-fiction memoir about Art Spiegelman's father being a Jew in Poland and then getting taken to Auschwitz. The way he did it was just not sugar-coated at all and I think it was wonderful so I definitely recommend this. This next one is also one of my favorite books and it is CJ and Run by Joy Fielding. This book deals with amnesia and also child abuse and pedophiles and that is, it's something that is done very harsh in this book and really eye-opening and I think that this is one of those ones that just will stick with you and I really love this book a lot. I definitely, definitely think that everyone should read this book. I love it so, so much. The last three that I have here I haven't actually read, but I think I know enough about them to recommend them to you as heavy or hard topics. The first one is The Returning by Christine Henwood, and this is about a boy who is drafted into a war, and then when he returns, he is the only one that survived on his side. So everyone is very suspicious of him, and even his fiance doesn't know if she can trust him anymore and he's dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder. Next we have The Devil in the White City which is one of the books that I just got and this is about H.H. H. Holmes who is America's very first serial killer. He was very much a real person and this is a historical fiction kind of around him. Um, and it sounds really interesting and really cool, so I think that serial killers are very heavy, so this book is definitely one of those. And the last book is Until It Hurts to Stop by Jennifer R. Hubbard, and this focuses on bullying, and this girl gets bullied pretty much her whole life, all through high school, and by everyone and she has no self-esteem and she's trying to deal with the world and she feels like she can't be loved by anyone. It's really sad and it's something that still happens today. Bullying is a very harsh 
topic. Then I have two books that I think deserve to be on this list even though I don't have physical copies of them. The first one is The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. This deals with teenage cancer and the inevitable death. Not something that is kind of avoided in topics and I think that that is one that definitely is a hard-hitting book. Um, I love that book. I don't have it because I loaned it out about a year and a half ago and still haven't gotten it back. So and the second book that I think deserves to be on this list is A Child Called It by Dave Pelzer. This is a non-fiction story about a child who is very heavily and harshly abused by his mother. I read this book when I was 10 and it's stuck with me since then. I loaned it to my dad and then he gave it away so I don't have it anymore but I definitely think that this book is just one of those crazy, crazy hard-hitting books. So that is all for this video. If you agree, let me know down below and tell me what you think some hard or heavy topics of books are or if you've read any of these and what you thought of them. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you would like to follow me on Goodreads, Twitter, or Instagram, those links are in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!